For four burgers, fry up three slices of good quality smoky bacon until nice and crispy. While they drain on paper towels, remove all but about two teaspoons of bacon fat from the skillet and add a half cup of chopped onions. Stir them over medium-high heat for about three minutes until they are tender and golden. Spread the onions out on a small plate to cool. While they do, get your grill preheating to medium-high. Put a pound of ground pork in a bowl. Chop or crumble the bacon and add it to the bowl along with the cooled onions. Add three tablespoons of a thick tomato-based barbecue sauce, a half teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of tangy Tabasco sauce, or more if you love heat. Mix everything together gently but thoroughly. For great burgers, you don't want to overwork meat. Shape the mixture into four patties, each about three quarters of an inch thick. Pop them onto a tray, along with some slices of Cabot Monterey Jack cheese, about a half cup more of barbecue sauce, a brush, a small dish of oil, some paper towels, and a piece of aluminum foil. The best way to ensure that food doesn't stick to the grill is to oil the hot grill just before you add the food. Dip a small wad of paper towel in the oil and rub it on the grill. Brush the tops of the burgers with barbecue sauce and add them sauce side down to the grill. Let them cook for five to eight minutes, then brush the tops with more sauce. Flip them over and cook for another five to eight minutes. Pork should be cooked all the way to the center, about 160 degrees on an instant read thermometer. Lay the Cabot Monterey Jack cheese slices on top and cover the burgers with the grill lid or the piece of foil just until the cheese is melted, which should take about a minute. These burgers are great on soft onion rolls with a side of southern slaw and a big pitcher of lemony iced tea.